praise the Lord to all the viewers in the name of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. This video is about the divinity of Jesus Christ. There are many false preachers that tend to preach that Jesus while he was on the earth was less than the Father and they tend to preach that the Father was greater than Jesus Christ. So many false preachers also tend to say that Jesus did not have the attributes of omnipresence, omniscience and omnipotence while he was on this earth. So this video is the response to those false preachers. One such example is Ranjit Ophir. Please watch the video of Ranjit Ophir for the same. <laughs> Avatara Samayamulu, Yesu Takuna Yakona Antunara Lekunda Avatara Niki Purvum Paralokum Lana Stanam Nugucha Utunara. Our Javanikana Takuana Gadante, a hundred per cent of Takue. Yapudu Avatara Samayamulu Takua. Patrika Rendava Adhyayulo Arava Vachino, E. Mata Jabutun. I am a Devunis Varupamu Kaliganavada Yundi. Devunato Samanamuga Wunduta Samanamuga Wunduta Virchipeta Koda Bhagyamani and Chupoli Edu Anta Bhagyani Virchipeta Shadu Ad Virchipeta Koda Nanta Gopa Bhagyaman Anukole Dana Vodile Shadu Deno the Len Shadu Devunato Samanamuga Wunduta and a Bhagyani Vodile Shadu In the clear Gonante Avatar Anakim Mundu and a Devunta Samanudu. A Samanatuan Vodilesi boom in the Putella Butadu Edova Vachana, Manusula Polikanga Putti Dasuni Sorupamu, the Rinsukoni Tanutani, Riktuniga, Chesi Konenu Ante Tanuloni, Mahimono, Prabhava, Nantavada Disi Pakarabeti Kundalo Nilu, Chembulo Palu, Gumarin Chesta, Chembukali and a two. Tanutan Kali Jeskuna, Rikunga Jeskunante, English Bible law, Chala Terega, he emptied himself on Untal. Apneapo Kali Kardia Apneapo Kali Karchuga, Sari Jalalse or Takatse, or Gyanse, a Kodaki Jokoibi, a Jalal Havo, Sara Jalal, Apneapi Anderson Nikalke Bahar Rachuka, Apneapo Kali Karchuka. Tanutanu Aina Rik Tuniga, Yemti Gajes Kunar, Tanutan on a Mataka Gamanarum Tandri and the Ud Balavanta and Lopan to Mahamanta is Lakoli Aine this by the Pakanabitel, Pakanabiti Manusula Polikaga Butadu, Dasuniso, Tarupa Mudhar in Sukunadu, Marana Mupundunantaga with Hayata and a Chupincha. Is that the Bumimi the Aina Jimins in a twenty? Avatara Samyamuloni Vasta Avatara Samyamulu Matrame Daivatwani Pakanabeti Paka Manishiga Vuchadu Sarva Vyapakatwani Sarva Gnatanu Sarvata Sarva Shakti Matwani Mood in Tini Vudri Yedame Avatara Mu Ganaka Avatarinchina Samyamulu Naite Devunito Samanu Gadu they would chip in to win with hey you. Now that you have watched the video, see the biblical response. First aspect Jesus being dual nature. Jesus was 100% God and 100% man while he was on this earth. Let us see the scriptures John 1 1 1 and 14. We see that the word of God came in the form of flesh and dwelt among us. So we see God's word came in the form of flesh and dwelt amongst us. Which means we see that the dual nature existed. The word is nothing but God's word, God himself. And when the word dwelt among us, the us reflects the mankind. So God dwelt among the mankind, which means the dual nature. Colossians 2.9 In Christ all the fullness of the deity lies in bodily form. So we see this, 
the fullness of God was there in the physical body of Jesus Christ. So we see 100% God and 100% man. We also see in Matthew 1.23, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son and they will call him Emmanuel. So Emmanuel means God with us. Again we see the dual nature aspect of it. So we saw three scriptures where we saw that the first thing that Jesus was 100% God and 100% man. And second aspect while we are going is the deity of Jesus Christ. First thing, Colossians 1.19 For God was pleased to have all the fullness dwell in him. So we see that while Jesus was on this earth, the 100% fullness of God was there in Jesus Christ. That is what is Paul writing in Colossians 1.19. Hebrew 1st chapter verse 3 the sun is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his being. So the Hebrew author is writing that the sun, the Jesus Christ, is exact radiance, exact representation of God's glory. Which means Jesus was 100% God on this earth. We also see Matthew 9.6. But I want you to know that the Son of Man has authority to authority on earth to forgive sins. So we see that Jesus has the divine nature on this earth that he has the power to forgive sins and only God can forgive sins. So that is the second aspect of Jesus being the divine nature. Now let us see, many false prophets tend to say Jesus did not have omnipotence, omniscience and omnipresence. Let us see those scriptures. Third one, omnipotence. We see that Jesus raised people from the dead. We saw Jesus raising Lazarus in John 11.38 and we also see Jesus raising a small child while the child was dead. You see that in Mark 5th chapter verse 40 to 42. And we also see in John 10, 18, I have the power to lay down myself and raise myself. So who has the power? Jesus has the power to lay down his life and to raise by himself. So when Jesus died, so Jesus has the power to lay down himself and to raise himself. So Jesus has the power to resurrect by himself. You see, these are the couple of scriptures which are an indication of his omnipotence. Now for omniscience, John 13, 21. When people came to arrest him, Jesus could know that the time has come for his betrayal. So how did Jesus know? Because he is a God of omniscience, he knows that the time has come for his betrayal. That is what he tend to say in John 13, 21. We also see in Matthew 9 verse 30 to 32 where Jesus predicts his death where he knows that he will be killed and his resurrection will happen in three days. So Jesus predicts his death. You tend to see this. So don't you think this is the attribute of omniscience? How can someone say that Jesus did not have an attribute of omniscience while he was on this earth? Omnipresence. We see that Hebrew 13.8, <coughs> Jesus is same yesterday, today and forever, which means there is no change. So how can someone say no divinity while he was on this earth? When the scripture very clearly says in Hebrew 13.8 that Jesus was same yesterday, today and tomorrow. We also see in Hebrew 1.3 and Colossians 1.19 that Jesus is exact being as equal to God. So, here as well you tend to see, Jesus while he was on this earth was exactly 100% of being God. So you saw that the attributes of omnipotence, omniscience and omnipresence. Then how can some false preachers tend to say that Jesus didn't have the divine attributes while he was on this earth? We need to understand the triune God works together in everything. I will show you three scriptures where you tend to see 
that Jesus resurrection happened by the work of the triune God John 10 18 I have the power to lay down myself and raise myself up so Jesus is telling I have the power to raise myself which means his omnipotence and now Acts 2 24 says God the Father raised Jesus from the dead you see God the Father raising Jesus Christ Romans 8 11 the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead here you see the Holy Spirit work in raising Jesus Christ in Jesus resurrection so you tend to see that all three persons Father Son and Holy Spirit tend to work together in every act of God it is not that one person doing and other two persons are silent it is always the work of three people that is the reason you tend to call the triune God which means three persons in unity there is no contradiction we also see that Jesus was 100% man we see scriptures uh, Luke 2 7 we see the physical birth of Jesus Christ Luke 2 40 we tend to see Jesus aging Jesus was growing by age we see John 19 28 he was thirsty we see Matthew 26 18 the soul was troubled which means Jesus had emotions there Luke 2 52 he learned to gain the knowledge and we see Luke 23 46 his physical death and Luke 24 39 we see the resurrection of the physical body so we see here that Jesus was 100% man as well now let us see now let us see there are some false interpretations of many preachers they do not have a bigger picture and the holistic picture so they tend to falsely interpret by taking single scripture out of context John 14 28 Jesus is telling there that my father is greater than I so taking that scripture people tend to interpret why Jesus was on this earth he was less than the father but we need to understand Jesus was 100% God and 100% man on this earth and this statement Jesus was making uh, out of his obedience because he was obedient to the father till the point of death he took the instruction from God the father to take the sin of this entire world unto himself so that is the reason he was obedient he was submissive to his father but you tend to see other scriptures as well where Jesus saying Jesus is equal to father and you also tend to see God the Father saying Jesus Christ as Lord how about this let us see the scriptures John 10 30 I and my father are one do you see that Jesus is saying me and my father are one Hebrew 1 8 God telling Jesus as God so God is calling Jesus Christ as Lord that means now will you tell that Jesus is more than the father again John 14 verse 10 and 11 believe me father in me and me in father that is father and me are equal and you also see in John 14 9 Jesus telling Philip whoever has seen me has seen my father so you tend to see that Jesus is telling we both are equal we are 100% exact so we need to understand Jesus is the exact replica of the unseen God in heaven so God wanted to reveal himself in the bodily form of Jesus Christ that is the reason there is co-equality Father Son and Holy Spirit then how to interpret the scriptures in Philippians 2 6 to 8 though he was in the form of God did not count equally with God a, a thing to be grasped but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death even death on cross so this he emptied himself this statement is wrongly interpreted by many people so what he emptied we need to understand pretty clearly we cannot demean 
the divinity of Jesus Christ by falsely interpreting. So we clearly saw on this earth that Jesus was 100% God and 100% man. Then what is this Jesus telling he emptied himself? We understand it is his glory. It is not his omnipotence power. Many people tend to preach he emptied his power. He emptied his divinity. No, 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 absolutely wrong. You need to see Jesus' divinity in the holistic context of the New Testament. You cannot take one scripture and falsely interpret it. It is just like this. Example, if you have a king, being a king, in his kingdom, he will have the ornaments like gold, his army, his chariots, his slaves, and everyone. So, when this king goes to a village to see how his people are living, being coming in the form of a normal man to a village to see his people, he is still a king. He can still take the decisions being a normal human being on the mere streets. This particular king, leaving his entire glory which is there in his kingdom, as I said, his clothes, his ornaments, his chariot, his uh, army and his slaves, leaving all that thing which are his glory. But he still has the power as a king when he goes to a village. Similarly, Jesus was telling about his glory. Jesus, while well, he was on the heaven, he has the glory with him. He is worshipped by all the twelve elders. He is worshipped by all the angels. He has the throne of God being at heaven. He is a king. He is a high priest. He is a God while being at heaven. So, he is leaving all this glory and coming as a mere servant into this earth doesn't mean that he is not a God. We consistently saw the scriptures that Jesus was 100% God and 100% man on this earth. So this is false interpretation. So whatever reasoning I have given you, you can see this in John 17. And now Father glorify me in your presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. So here we tend to see Jesus is speaking about his glory, whatever he carried while he was on heaven. So he left all the greatness, whatever he had in the heaven, not the divinity aspect of it, but the glory aspect of it were kept aside. So what Jesus emptied in Philippians 2 is about his glory, not about his power. So that's how we need to understand that Jesus was 100% God and 100% man on this earth. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe to it and share it to your friends, neighbors and to your local churches that this may be a blessing to many people so that the divinity of Jesus Christ is not compromised which is very very essential. We need to make every effort to see that God's glory cannot be compromised. Thank you. God bless you.